all awesome. I'm excited to see the show tonight. Thank you. Is this first time at the Wild Horse? Yes. That's what yes. I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. So what are your feelings just on the Wild Horse itself in Nashville on St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, it's I mean, awesome. it's, it's, it's an amazing venue and no better time to be here than St. Patty's Day. Any uh, special tricks, any special things you're going to do because of the holiday, other than the green beer? We might go out and pinch everybody in the crowd. There you go. There you go. Find the people. I got my green on. You can't pinch me. We, we, got, got, we, we got a little Irish, yeah, a little Irish yeah. Yeah. fiddle thing that we're going to do, I think. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I know this is not your first show since everything has changed in your dynamics, but what are your feelings on tonight and uh, anything special that you're doing? Yeah, I mean, we're... we're uh, we have uh, Trace Guitar out that we, we honor him with and in mic stand. And then um, we're going to play a song tonight, kind of space tribute to him a little bit. And uh, we pretty much do that every show. Right, so. right, right. Yeah, this um, is our first official show in Nashville, so like, like long, long right. set, so we're really excited. Right. Like, yeah. right. And you have new projects out, new songs. So tell me about that. How, uh, how the process went. I know the, the main song is one that you already had, had a video started with him in it. So how is that being received and how are you, you know? It, it's doing great. Yeah, Torn is our, is our single mm -hmm. country radio right now. Um, our EP, Torn, uh, we released that back in September last year. And then uh, the single is radio this year in January. So we get a lot of great response. The video is doing great. They play on CMT. So uh, we're, we're excited about that. But um, yeah, it's doing really good. And of course, you know, Craig's in the video and he's in the song. Right. So it's right. just an incredible way to really honor him, you know, as we, as we move forward. Uh, the title of the CD was it named before his passing? Because yeah. I mean, obviously you had the song, so but now it kind of has a double meaning, I'm sure, because right. there's, there's feelings on that. So. When we wrote the song, it was just one of the songs. It's like you know, we you know, write. It's just had such special meaning already behind it before all this stuff happened. And so we just kind of always knew that this, that would be the first thing we were going to release. And so. Uh, we just decided to release really, it really early when all this stuff happened, so I just was trying to get it out there. Sure. Um, with it being, of course, St. Patrick's Day tonight, and the first time in Nashville, what are you guys gearing up for when you leave here tonight? Have you thought past any of that? Or? Yeah, we haven't discussed it. <laughs> yeah, tonight, just after the show tonight? Yeah, all right. Oh, there's no telling. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fun. That's for sure. Whatever you're going to do. Yeah, we're we're yeah. a rabbit bunch. So you uh, go out and yeah, we like to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Are you guys gearing up for CMA Fest? You guys are doing stuff here this summer for that? Um, actually, we're not going to be here at CMA Fest this year. But last year we played there, and I'm sure next the next year we'll definitely be doing stuff. Right. We'll a lot of stuff there. Right. right. This this year we're just focused on model touring and just getting out there and meeting new people and new fans and yeah. hitting new cities that we haven't hit. And trying to get back around the West Coast. Yeah. And One thing with, with you know, groups and bands and you're not on a big major label, what conflicts or what things do you guys have to overcome to get new fans, get music out there, the radios played? I mean, it's not easy where you just you know, snap your fingers. So, what creative ways have you guys come up with to garner new people? Well, I think one of the main ways is um, just really utilizing social media, you know, mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff. And we, uh, we have such a like energetic stage presence that that really feeds off the fans too. So, and we always are real personable after a show. We'll talk to them for a long time and you know, tell them to go visit our, our websites and, and uh, you know Facebook, all, that, all those good things. So, I think we really um, focus on the, the social media, you know, to let kind of feel let fans know that they're like you know part of us and right. feel like they're a part of us for sure. Right. And also just getting out, the, out, of, uh, out there on the road. I mean, we do like 150 dates a year. Um, it's what we've done the past two years. That's what we're pushing for again this year. So just, just getting out there and like meeting the fans face to face. You know, let them know who you are. Yeah, just playing a lot. Of yeah, <laughs> make sure we awesome. hit the merch table afterwards and, and yeah. meet everybody and take pictures with everybody. We've just always been that top of fans ever since we started. Just you know, we just we stay true to that and take pictures and sign autographs and stuff until the very end like, there's nobody left. Mm -hmm. That's good. Is there any conflict with there being more than just, you know, one or two people? Do you guys have any, you know, 
fighting going on? <laughs> any any well, pranks that you're playing or anything like that that are kind of ongoing? We, we played a prank on Brandon last night to dinner table. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty good too. Uh, I think the most fighting we do is when we play Smash Brothers on the TV floor <laughs> or in the hotel. So that's probably the I'm probably the most angry one. Uh, I get the mad I get mad the, the most. Because I'm really competitive. Yeah, we, we actually knew pretty good. I mean, you, you won't yeah. really meet five guys that are closer. You know, we're all brothers. And it's not like Metallica. Yeah. You know, we'll have, we'll, have little, we'll have moments of argument or something like that, but we face it. Yeah, yeah. I think going right. Is there any special messages you want to send out to fans or anything special you want to make sure and get out there and tell them? I think the, you know, the biggest thing for us is we just want people to know who we are and what we're doing. You know, to us, the fans, we just want to write the right world lyrics. Thank you guys very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.